Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 44. Today we're going to be looking at cancel animation frame and pausing your animation. So look at the previous episode if you'd like to learn about uh, how to use the uh, animation frames, and then uh, this will be looking at how we pause them. So building on the last one, we have a few more global variables here. We have pause, which is going to be an indication of whether or not the animation is paused. REQ, which is just going to be represent the request animation frame uh, ID, and tick, which is the function that is defined below from the last episode. We've also added back our callbacks here uh, for keys so that we could pause using the keyboard. Uh, in here, everything is basically the same. We're going to be getting the updated angle, drawing it, and then doing request animation frame. Major difference is when we do the request animation frame, we're going to go ahead and get the ID of that request animation frame so that we can cancel it later. As I said before, our callbacks, we have key down and key up. And then as we scroll down here, you can see uh, draw and update angle are basically the same. Um, just move some of the values out. And uh, now we're down into the UI. And this is actually where we're doing the business logic for how we're pausing it or not. So basically, if we're pressing down, we're going to check to see if we have the P button uh, clicked. And if we do, we're going to go ahead and uh, change it from true to false or false to true, depending on its current state. And then when we lift up the key, if we are currently paused, we're going to call the cancel animation frame function, giving it the request ID that was returned from request animation frame. And that's going to pause all animations on that request ID. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and set that to undefined. And what that's going to allow us to do is when we uh, unpause it, it's going to hit this else statement, and we're going to see that we don't have any requests uh, binding currently. And we're going to go ahead and see that, um, that we're going to set the last to now. Uh, as you remember, the last is currently set to when the, the application loads. And then we're going to call tick, which is going to start up our request animation frames once again. Now the reason that we have this last in here is so that our animation doesn't bounce, uh, meaning it doesn't jump ahead uh, such that the last has not been set properly, because you can remember we're setting it here. So I'll show you what I mean on that in just a second. So here's our paused animation, and if I unpause it, I can nicely, smoothly re-pause it and unpause it any time. Now if I had not had that last here, uh, and I start I pause and if I wait long enough what happens is it bounces you can see it jumps ahead because the last time is still from the beginning so uh, it doesn't end up having that smooth effect so making sure you keep your paused the last time uh, to when it's unpausing that'll make it nice and smooth uh, so you can play around with this and uh, move the logic out of course and but this is basically it for uh, how you can pause and unpause your animation using cancel animation frame. Uh, if you like what you saw today in this episode, uh, go ahead and give us a like, uh, share on social media if you will, uh, subscribe, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.